October is Arterial Venous Malinformation or AVM Awareness Month. Never heard of it? Well, it's a rare disease that creates a clump of blood vessels and can cause aneurysm strokes or even death. Joining me now to bring awareness to this disease is Erica Carnage and Dina Chan with the Aneurysm and AVM Foundation. Good morning, ladies, and thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. So tell me, what is AVM and why is it so important to know about it? Well, an AVM stands for, as you have there, an arteriovenous malformation. And uh, also you mentioned that it's a complex tangle of blood vessels, specifically arteries and veins, and they're missing that capillary system. So the blood rushes through there very quickly. And um, it's important to know about them specifically because they can cause death. And while being a rare disease, um, these symptoms are stroke-like and oftentimes they get ignored and people can die. Wow, and AVM is the number one cause of pediatric brain bleeds in children after head trauma. So should parents be worried? In my mind and in the minds of most experts, no. Uh, again, you are talking about a rare disease. Um, however, what we want people to do is to know about this uh, disease so that if you are playing football or on the basketball court or things like this and you fall and you have a CT scan, um, that it's important to look for those things. But more importantly, if you are having symptoms of stroke, which we know are things like a very severe headache or face drooping, or in many cases with our younger people, um, or in most actually, uh, they present 50% of the time with bleed. Wow. So Erica, my understanding is that you helped build the TAAF Youth Ambassador Program, yet your AVM wasn't in your brain. Why was this program with TAAF so important for you? And what were your goals uh, in reaching out? This was important to me because I got my diagnosis years after having my symptoms. I had no idea what it was. And when I finally found out my diagnosis of having an arteriovenous malformation, I wanted to find a group similar to I who's suffering with the same diagnosis because it is a rare disease and I had never heard of having it. I had never known anyone who had had it. So reaching out to TAF was important to me because I was able to find that group of people who had similar symptoms to me, who had similar stories, who I could just relate to and talk to. And goals with this program were just finding other people who maybe had the same diagnosis as me, who had symptoms for so long, didn't know what was going on, just to be able to reach out to people and have them know they're not alone, like how I felt when I had my diagnosis. And I know you've recently received a, de a declaration from Governor DeSantis declaring October to be AVM Awareness Month in the state. So what other activities have you been up to for AVM Awareness, Erica? In addition to getting the declaration for my state, I also got it in Clay County and Volusia County most recently. So that's really exciting, just getting the word out, letting everyone know about my diagnosis, what's going on, other rare diseases that maybe they're not aware of. I've had some social media campaigns going on, and I do have a fun couple things going on on social media. So if you follow along with my journey, you'll see a couple surprises for you guys. That is amazing. So really quick before we run out of time, where can people go to learn more and catch up with you and Dina? For my social media, it is Erica Carnegie 2.0 on Instagram and Facebook. And for TAF, there's TAFonline.org. And on Instagram, there's TAF underscore org and TAF for kids. And then for an email, if you guys are curious about your diagnosis, maybe symptoms you're having, there is info at TAFonline.org. All right, thank you so much. Oh, really quick, Dina, uh, where can people contact you? Oh, actually, Erica just masterfully put that out there. Um, <laughs> oh, but my that. email, <laughs> that's okay. Um, it's great. Um, it's Dina, spelled obviously D-I-N-A, at tafonline.org. And I, we help people every single day with their diagnoses, as uh, Erica mentioned, but more importantly, to help them find second opinions, make decisions, and just generally offer one-on-one -on -one care. Well, thank you ladies both so much. It was a pleasure speaking with you both this morning. Thanks so thank much. You.